Hi everyone. Uh, today we want to go over how to multiply and divide um, scientific notation. So if you're watching the first video, um, we're going to go from there. So let's say we have 3 times 10 to the 7th power and we want to times that by 2 times 10 to the third power. So both these are in scientific notation right now. Okay, and so to multiply in scientific notation, we are simply just going to take the first two numbers and times those together. So three times the two turns out to be six. And then, as we learned in the previous lesson, when we're really multiplying exponents, we simply just add those together. So 10 to the 7th power times by 10 to the 3rd power, we're just going to add the 7 and 3, and we end up with 10 to the 10th power. So my final answer is 6 times 10 to the 10th. Okay? This is just like if we had 3a squared times by 2a to the 3rd power. So when we talked about multiplying with exponents and there's numbers in the front, we did times that 3 and 2. So 3 times 2 equals 6. But then when we really multiply our exponents, we're just going to add those two together. So a squared and a to the 3rd was a to the 5th power. Okay, so the same rules applies when we're doing scientific notation. If there's numbers, we're going to times those, and we're going to add the two exponents together. If we had 2.4 times 10 to the fifth power, and we want to times that by, let's say, 3 times 10 to the negative second power. We're going to simply just take the 2.4, and times that by 3. So if you need to use a calculator, okay, um, I'm sure you can find the calculator online. There's probably a calculator on your computer, but somewhere just uh, use a calculator if you need to. So 2.4 times 3 turns out to be 7.2. And then when we're times in the exponents, we're just going ahead and go ahead and add those. Well, 5 plus a negative 2, be careful, is not 7. Okay, it's 5 plus a negative 2. Signs are different. We're actually going to have to take away, and we end up with 10 to the third power. So in your assignment, be careful when you watch for the negatives. So when you guys have got to pay attention to those, 5 plus a negative 2 becomes to a positive 3. All right. I want you guys to try one here. Let's say we have 1.9 times 10 to the fourth. And let's times that by 3.1 times 10 to the negative ninth power. Okay, use your calculator. We're simply just going to times those first two numbers together. So 1.9 times by 3.1. And you should end up with 5.89. And then when we really times the exponents, we're just going to add those. So we have 4 plus a negative 9. And 4 plus a negative 9, we should end up with 10 to the negative 5th. That is okay that that turns out to be a negative for our answer. We want that. Okay. Now there is the catch. Pay attention to this one. This is the one we got to really watch for. Let's say we have 7.2 times by 6.1. Oops, excuse me. Let's say we go 7.2 times 10 to the 7th power. And we want to times that by, let's say, 6.1 times by 10 to the 4th power. All right, let's look at what happens to this. So once again, we're just going to take the 7.2 and we're going to times it by 6.1. And we end up with 43.92. And then when we times our exponents, 
we're just going to kind of go ahead and add those. So 7 plus 4 turns out to be times 10 to the 11th power. Okay, but here's the problem. So in our last lesson, we talked about how to write numbers into scientific notation. Okay, this number right here is not scientific notation. It's too big. Look what your decimal's at. It's at 43.92. Our decimal's in the wrong spot. It's too big. We need to move this decimal back over here between the 4 and the 3. So we end up with 4.392 times 10. And if we moved it one more time, we have to add one more in. So now it's times 10 to the 12th power. So there's my final answer. Okay, that's the catch. Now you don't have to do it every time, right? We didn't have to do it on any of the ones above. The ones all above turned out to be just fine. Okay, but when you do your assignment, be careful. This is the one they're going to try to trick you on. Okay, watch for this. If you times it and you get bigger than... 10, you've got to move that decimal over one time. All right? Okay, let's talk about some division ones and we'll be done. Let's say we have 8.4 times 10 to the 9th, and we want to divide that by 4 times 10 to the 7th power. Okay, so it's just like timesing. These numbers right here, we actually are going to divide these. So if you put that in your calculator, 8.4, and you divide that by 4, you should end up with 2.1. Now, from our previous lessons, when we're really dividing exponents, we are dividing. I mean, excuse me, when we're dividing exponents, we are subtracting, right? So 9 take away 7 turns out to be 10 to the second power. When we multiply, you add. When you divide, you've got to subtract. So we end up with 2.1 times 10 to the second. Okay, let's have you guys look at one. Let's just say you go with 9 times 10 to the fourth, and we want to divide that by 3 times 10 to, let's say, the eighth. We're going to divide the two numbers. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then times 10. And when we're really dividing, we're subtracting. But be careful here. It's 4 minus 8, right? So 4 minus 8 is negative 4. So we should end up with a negative power. So when you're dividing, be careful. Watch for this as well. This might pop up on your, um, your assignment in Alex. Okay? If you have questions on any of this, do not forget Thursday morning um, from 9 to 9.30, Mrs. Bolos and myself will be um, on the live video chat. You can jump on and ask any questions you've got. If you've got any questions about Canvas at all, just jump on and we can talk to you and help you out. Um, the code will be on the Canvas uh, front page uh, Thursday morning, roughly right before 9 o'clock. So jump on, you can see it. Okay. Um, when you get done with this, do not forget there is a couple Canvas questions you do need to answer. And then when you're done with that, for the next day, all you have is an Alex assignment. There is no reveal assignment. And, and that is it. Hope everybody's doing well. We'll see you later.